Hey, and welcome back to the game room for a pickups video this time around. If you're new to the channel, generally what we do is we go through all of my Facebook marketplace, pawn shop and thrift store pickups. Then live on camera, I open my mail for you, show you all of the games that I've ordered into the game room in the past couple of months. So if you're into checking out new games, stuff that's coming into the game room, all that good stuff, you're in the right place, sit tight. It's gonna be a good one. First up is a pretty cool uh, little game that I don't see ever actually on the Wii and it's Geometry Wars Galaxies. This really cool kind of holographic looking cover art to it that actually extends all the way back over to the back. It's a complete copy that I found for like $3 at a thrift store that generally doesn't have anything decent at all. But hey, I go there just about every week and it paid off this time around. I keep talking about how I've been finding strategy guides and any sort of gaming literature, uh, Nintendo Power magazines, that sort of thing. And uh, this last month was this last month was no exception. I found a pretty cool book called Video Games FAQ. So all kinds of like frequently asked questions about uh, any kind of video game system and games. So I've been kind of flipping through this one a little bit, but uh, hey, it'll make a pretty cool addition to uh, my little gaming literature bookshelf over there. And uh, if you're not digging through the book section at your thrift stores, you should start because I'm actually finding way more of this kind of gaming stuff than I am video games these days. And uh, it's pretty cool to find this kind of stuff. I am always excited to find N64 games. As you probably already know if you've been around for a while on the channel, I'm going for a complete North American N64 set. I've got three new pickups that have come in this time around. The first of which is actually kind of an uncommon slash rare game, Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. Um, really happy to pick this one up. Got a nice price on it. I think um, I had the guy's listing was um, a newer memory pack if i can remember correctly for 75 with the game and uh, i think i got the game for 60 from him and i didn't really want that newer memory pack so uh yeah good deal 60 bucks for a game that uh, i don't see very often and uh another one on my journey towards a full north american n64 set two other n64 games that i found turok rage wars and bomberman 64 i'd say these are probably slightly more uncommon games at least I haven't found them uh, until this point in my journey looking for the entire set, and I was happy to grab those both. I think the listing also had uh, Turok 3 in it, which I don't have, but that was already sold by the time I got to it. It's like the Wild West on Facebook Marketplace. Stuff just goes so quickly, and uh, I can message someone like five minutes after they, after they list something, and half of it's already gone. A trade for the next one, and I'm always stoked to do this with people locally on Facebook Marketplace. There's a guy with a listing up for some Switch games, and it basically just said, I want to trade for other Switch games. Uh, I didn't have this copy of Fire Emblem Warriors for the Nintendo Switch, and uh, I had an extra copy of Penny Punching Princess because I picked that up for the Switch a little while ago and didn't realize that I already had the game in my collection. I'm kind of wishing I had the original copy with the, like, uh, the rating on the front, but I'll take what I can get, and it was really good trade, so... Stoked to add this one to the collection. I managed to pick up a game that I've been on the hunt for for a really long time, actually. I'm a huge fan of the Valkyria Chronicles games. If you're not familiar with them, this is the uh, turn-based strategy game that uh, has some releases on the Xbox One and the Switch. Um, I'm a massive fan of this series. I still haven't gotten to four, but three is phenomenal. I was doing some Googling for games that play like this and Ring of Red kept coming up. I managed to get this complete copy uh, on uh, Facebook Marketplace. It plays kind of similarly. Obviously, it's an, on an older generation of consoles, so graphics are going to take a little bit of a hit, but a really cool addition to the PS2, and I don't usually go out of my way to spend that much on PS2 games. I generally try to push towards the Xbox side of my collection, so... I was really stoked to find this one locally and uh, a really good clean copy of the game too. More games on my quest to complete the North American Wii U library. I'm always stoked to add these games. 
Probably what I'm doing the most hunting for right now is N64 and Wii U. That's where the bulk of my spending is going, at least for like local resale stuff. I grabbed a bunch of stuff this week. Uh, two games from the same seller, and that was Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric and The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Both I did not have in my Wii U collection, so I was absolutely stoked to add those. I still don't have The Amazing Spider-Man 1, and I know that version I think is a little pricier than this version, but uh, awesome to add those two from a local seller. And I can't remember where I got this one, but Lego Jurassic World uh, on the Wii U. I thought I had all of the Lego games on the Wii U already. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is my ninth Lego game. I, I really am not inclined to collect Lego games for any other console. I have more than enough Lego games that I'm ever going to play just in my Wii U collection alone. Uh, there's still one more. I'm missing The Hobbit. Am I? Yeah, I'm missing The Hobbit. Lego Hobbit on the Wii U. It's my last one and then I'm done with Lego games. That's it. No more Lego. <laughs> All right, and it's my favorite part of my pickups videos. And that time is... Time. The mail's here! Mail time. I'm so stoked to open the mail in front of you every time I get a chance to do this. I'm trying to do it a little uh, more frequently these days because a lot of these come from eBay and uh, returns get a little bit difficult if you wait longer than a month. So I'm trying to open this a little more frequently than I have been in the past. The first is labeled eBay. So let's make the assumption that it's an eBay parcel. Ah, and a game that I've been looking for for a long time. Rosie! Come here. Why are you making so much noise upstairs? Come over here. Come here. We're trying to film some pickups. You're, um... Yeah, those. You're making a lot of noise. Can you make less noise? Return of the Oberdin is a game that I've heard so much about on uh, one of my favorite gaming podcasts called Triple Click. Um, really, really great gaming podcast. If you're not listening to it already, you absolutely should add it to your list of podcasts. Um, they rave about this game. Really unique pixelated art style, sort of a mystery. I'm excited to get into this one. I've heard amazingly good things about it. It's on their like top 10, top five games of all time. So uh, Return of the Oberdin wasn't cheap and it's also limited run. Um, big fan of them. So stoked to add that to the collection. I forgot I ordered another limited run package. Oh, I'm so stoked for this. Unpacking, man. I like I've heard some really fantastic stuff about this. I watched Rosie. I watched a ton of uh gameplay of this on YouTube as well. And uh man, this just seems like a really cool game. Unpacking's a game that's basically like, well, it's an unpacking simulator and it's got a really cool pixelated art style. You're basically following the life of a person or more than one people, uh, or more than one person, and you're following them through their life and unpacking their things as they move to different places in their life. So it tells us kind of a narrative through the unpacking of their stuff. And uh, if you're someone who kind of really likes organization and like neatness and, you know, putting things exactly where they're meant to be, then this may be kind of a cool, chill experience for you. So, man, look at that slip cover too. Gosh, that's beautiful. So yeah, another limited run game. Forgot I ordered this one and I'm really happy to get it because I, I actually uh, almost missed the order window for this one. So yeah, uh, if you haven't heard of limited run, where have you been? Uh, check them out. It's, uh, it's awesome. Unpacking. Stoked for this one. Amazon package. They've changed their packaging up. Amazon cannot make their mind up what kind of packaging they want to use. Uh, it's one, <laughs> I say, uh, because it's, I'm going to open this one anyway, so it's kind of irrelevant, but man, I hate when that happens. Not a sealed collector. I keep stuff sealed when I'm not going to play it, but when this happens, I'm gonna open it all day and fix it because that'll drive me insane. Fire Emblem Awakening 3DS. I, I kind of went crazy on the 3DS in the last little while and I've just been picking up as much stuff as I can. This one went on sale on Amazon. It wasn't a crazy deal, but um, 
I was just happy to add more to the 3DS collection and uh, stoked to check this one out. So Fire Emblem 3DS. Last up. This one is, oh, I ordered a micro SD card for my camera. The one that you're watching on right now. So that when I go game hunting in other places, I can bring you with me. If you haven't checked out my game hunting videos, I'll link one up above. Check them out. They're super cool. All right. Kenna, Kina. I'm going with Kenna. Kina. Kina sounds better. Bridge of Spirits. I am stoked to check this one out. This is the deluxe edition on the PS4. It's only got a 12 hour campaign. That was part of what kind of drew me to it. It looks beautiful. Um, it's got a super cool uh, heroine um, that I'm stoked to play as. She looks really awesome and kick ass. This game just looks like it's gorgeous like game it really nice like pretty <laughs> and um i'm stoked to check it out so uh yeah great addition to the ps4 collection which is growing i uh didn't have a ps4 until that long ago so uh the ps4 collection is starting to kind of come into its own a little bit so pretty cool addition to the ps4 collection Thank you so much for sticking around through this pickups video. It has been awesome to have you along for the ride. What have you picked up recently? Let me know down in the comments. I want to know what additions you've made to your game room or to your collection, no matter how big. And uh, yeah, thanks for sticking around to the end. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff goes a long way into helping my channel grow and I appreciate it. I will catch you on the next one.